Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be a review on No Homelands by Kai Cheng Tong. So you guys, this book is a collection of poetry that I received from Edelweiss and Arsenal Pulp Press, I think is the name. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So this collection of poetry follows the author Kai Ching Tong. I think I'm saying it right, I'm not sure, but she is a transsexual woman and it follows her through when she was young growing up growing up from that to be an adult how she was just criticized how people was just just downright mean and ugly to her when she was younger telling her all she was gonna be able to do all she was good to do was to be a sex worker <clears throat> and it follows her to her adulthood with her going through all kind of different scenarios with her being mistreated by just about anyone being raped and her thinking that that's what she deserved that she that that's 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 all she was good enough to get it, it's a lot it, it's a lot so this is the first book that i have ever read that was centered around the trans culture trans community i've never read a book about it and i actually i really enjoyed this book um, i only gave it three out of five stars and i'll tell you why but i just i love that this book was just so like this collection of points was just so raw and there was no filter in this book like i just i really enjoyed the fact that there was no filter there it was just profanity it was just not sugarcoating anything i just i love that about this reading these poems i could really tell like i can seriously tell just the emotion that the author was going through like i could feel her pain of what like she was going through you can really read that and that is amazing in poetry when you could just read it and you could know exactly what they're going through even though know, you haven't been through it you feel what they feel and it's just it was very heart-wrenching i actually had three poems in this collection that were my favorite they were in your mouth with the moon saw and white gay men like, white gay men i was like damn okay go ahead go ahead for it go do that i was like yes yeah, say it it was just, it just did, it was just so strong, it was just out there, I really liked that part. At some parts throughout the book, I, f I did feel disengaged from the story, I felt disconnected, which is why I did end up giving it three stars instead of five, was because it kept, I kept going in and out, I wasn't really kept, you know, pulled in the whole time. But I always got sucked back in. It wasn't like those books that, you know, you lose, you start to kind of fade out and lose interest and you never get it back. And you end up ultimately not finishing the book. It actually kept putting me back in. But because of this roller coaster ride, if I'm interested, now I'm not. Now I'm interested, now I'm not. It's like, why well, I only got three stars. I would still recommend this collection of poems, even though I only gave it three out of five stars. Just because the content was just so raw and just so real. You know, it wasn't sugarcoated. It was just there in your face. That's the only thing that I didn't like was that I wasn't kept engaged 100% of the time, but I will still recommend this collection of poetry to people. The only thing I want to say is that I do warn people just because there are triggers for rape violence and there is a lot of profanity. So if you are not okay with reading something about rape and this is not just a little snippet of rape, like it's like, damn, like violent rape, like in your face then you should read this and if you have an issue with profanity there's a lot of cursing in this collection of poetry you shouldn't read it if that's going to make you uncomfortable but if that kind of stuff doesn't bother you then you know go ahead and pick it up because this was really amazing it did come out already it came out april 17th so you guys should definitely go and try it out anyway and give it a try and come back and let me know what you guys thought even if you even if you have read it already just let me know in the comments what you thought about it if you kind of had the same issues i had we're not being engaged the whole time, then, you know, let's talk about it. Um, I'm going to link my review that I did on my blog down below in the description box. I'm also going to link the Goodreads uh, page for the book in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.